Hey, it's me. Got it together now. Maybe. Right. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. I know I ain't talked to you in a while. It's not that I haven't talked to you in a while. It's just that I have Remember I told you, you to keep yourself good looking. Even if you're alone, if you've done self-quarantine or you're you know, 29 feet from somebody else, you should try to look good. Try to look good. Because when you look good to yourself, you're in fact looking good to everyone else, including those little dust mice that's running around, the little, you know, things that's, you know, you got to look good for people. Like, oh, I got to take my, take my stuff, my morning stuff. Been drinking your water, I suppose. Perfect feel. Take all the morning stuff, including vitamin D. That was a small pill. But you know what I got? The last thing I got from the streets before the street vendors were gone? Sorrow. I got some sorrow. You say, okay, so you got so Big deal. So you got something that tastes good. You're right. But what I also got, got some buffered vitamin C. Let me put it in here and get me, make my medicine. Buffered vitamin C. Take my little bit of sorrel. I just shook it up already. Put some in there. Take some vitamin C from here. But you look, in these times, you know, I want you all to be safe and not sorry. Vitamin C. But also, I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's difficult to be by yourself to keep your spirits up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm generally a guy that can, uh, <laughs> what did my friend said this one time, that's my best friend said, you know, the problem, not the problem, but the situation with you is that you find yourself more entertaining than anybody else. So basically, you know, it's like some lonely, some only child. Even though I was a second child, but, you know, I basically had to raise myself. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something to stir this with. Hold on a second. Ah. But I can't. Got something in here. Huh. Who knows? Yeah. But because I spend so much time, not with myself, it's weird. I'm sort of like a, I'm like the, the ultimate loner. You know, I can be my own best friend. And I have, a lot of times I travel places where, like, I don't have a language acumen. So like basically I'm in this crowd, but I'm alone because I can't understand the language. They can't understand me, blah, 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 you know? So what am I saying? So I'm saying that, you know, if you go, if you're by yourself, but you're not a, a self person, you might be in like deep, you know, so that's why they got modern communications. That's why they got all these plans where you, you know, you can get, you know, free, whatever, you know, so call somebody. You know, talk to somebody on the phone, even though it's not the same, you know, and they'll email and that gets tired after a while, I suppose. But, you know, if you have a small group of people, you know, let's say let's let, let's keep it to six or seven. Now, less than that, um, that you can talk to all the time, not all the time, but, you know, space it out because people don't want to hear from you all the time. People don't actually like each other. I hate to tell you this, you know, but this is what I find working in theater and stuff like that. I feel like. It's interesting because in theater and films and stuff like that, you know, you, you you basically create a family for a second, for a little while. And then when, when the run is over, the family is gone. You know, the classic example is Tupac. Remember Tupac and, uh, and, and, uh, <laughs> and Poetic Justice, where with a, with a sex scene between uh, Janet Jackson and, and Tupac was like, basically, they're sitting, you see him from distance, they, they to kiss each other on the cheek or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I got out of the film. Maybe I'm wrong. So, so what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you, you create this thing for a while. This, this, this is what's so powerful about the military. You know, if you're in the military for, say, two years, four years, whatever it is, you, you create an instant bond for a second. But that bond lasts for years and years and years and years and years. And years, and years, and years, and years. I still remember the lofty race. Lofty race, there's, there's three of us. Actually, four if you include Bucky. It's like the three musketeers plus Dartanian. It's like Chicken Man, Ron Thompson, and myself. And then uh, then Bucky was the fourth one. And I still remember us, you know? But then again, people that weren't in the group, like Tony McBride, 
God, don't Philadelphia. You know, you remember where people come from and stuff like that. And it's nice. It's interesting. Anyway. Oh, boy. Soul and vitamin C. Buffered vitamin C. Let me put this back in the refrigerator. The sorrel is. I'm going to have that. With some more vitamin C. Maybe tomorrow more. Let's see. Mm. Ah. Mm -mm. I guess because the sorrel is so sweet. You know, I got my honey jar that I put uh, this some other time. Okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be long with this. I, I realize there's sev there's several things, like for instance, I have this thing when I'm doing an audio drum. I've been doing this for years. When I'm when I'm when one is 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 gonna happen. See, I don't do, you know, you know, in TV and TV, in in um, what do you call that? In radio, you know, we have promotions. You know, you do you, promotions, and I never do promotions for other people for, for our shows and goes like that. You know, maybe a public service where we wear. You know, but for my own, I always have this thing where at, I, I make start making announcements way well way before the the the, uh, the event happens, and then I always say at the end of, end of the end of the announcement, prepare yourself, prepare yourself. Okay, there's been for years. I mean, if you go back, I'm talking about we're talking about since the '90s, early '90s. Prepare yourself. You know, well, there it is. Hey, if I say something, believe me, if I say something, if it was 20 years ago, it's still ap applicable to today. Believe me, this is the way I roll, you know? I know it's all about me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why it is, but that's just the way it is. I come, I, it just, just some of us, <laughs> anyway. So prepare yourself. That's always been the thing. So even now in this in the late stage, as, as the virus keeps on pandemicking, stuff like that, you have to continue to prepare yourself, which means you have to get new knowledge and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, as as you may or may not know, I've been living in South Africa since uh, 2003, and I've traveled the world a lot from, from that point. But anyway, there's this thing in South Africa called Ubuntu. Ubuntu is basically, a, but, and to make it sure, it's like, I, I see the humanity in you, you see the humanity in me, and therefore, since we're both human, let's share. And as I'm putting it that way, there's other interpretations, right? Well, it's one of the things I said about a few years ago, three or four, five, six years ago, Ubuntu cannot exist in a capitalist society. Ubuntu cannot exist in a capitalist society because they're diametrically opposed. You see, you see what I'm saying? They just did. It just doesn't work. What's this? What's going on here? Because I want to end this on a on a on a light note. It looks like uh, I lost my page on here. I'll get it back. There it is. Where, where, where's he at? Oh, there it is. Oh, I guess I may, may not do that. Maybe it's too clever. Let's see what happens. Anyway, so Ubuntu cannot exist in a capitalist society. As simple as that. Um, so, question is, can a capitalist society exist in a pandemic? Or will the capitalist society get destroyed? This is kind of interesting. And we're living through this 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 experiment right now. And and especially when you have a, a, a what do you call that? Uh, uh, you know, people who have time to 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 try to manipulate their wealth way, way through the capitalist system. But if there's no system to manipulate yourself through, well, there you go. So it's interesting. Oh, I have my snot rag. I don't know where I'm all right. You said, what, did you use the same rag? Maybe call hot water. Hot water. Let me explain this to you. When I first started looking at this stuff and looking where the pandemic was hitting, what you notice is those places around the equator, whatever have you, you know what I mean? There was less and less and less because of the heat. I think one of the things they're trying to do right now is wait for summer to come and that'll burn things off. But that's like a few months, right? I'm mean, really hot. But also, you know, I mean, I take, when I finish with this right now, I'm going to jump in the bathtub and take a hot, hot bath, you know? While I go out... Mm -mm -mm. This looks like the sun is starting to come out. So I want to go out and get the sun. The morning sun is really good, but since there's no traffic around anyway, so it doesn't matter what time you go out, as long as there's sun and no, there's no the carbon, whatever, the, 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 the combustible engine doing the thing, and there's no airplanes, it's just eerie. This is just like 9-11 when there was no airplanes in the sky. This, I don't hear any airplanes, no no sky traffic at all. I guess helicopters all in, because anyway, done. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. 
that this is, I, I, I can't, sometimes I can't, look, to tell you the truth, I've been avoiding the, the whole news media thing, right? Because they are so, ah, it's infuriating. I so said, I'm in the media, so <laughs> I'm in the media. Look, I know media. And when they say something, we're in the epic center, the epicenter, uh, you know, talking about New York, the epicenter, and this is the epicenter, and that's the epicenter. I think New Rochelle or somebody else was the epicenter in, in Texas and, and rather, in New Orleans because they went did Mardi Gras. They're not the epicenter. All these epicenters. Let me tell you, every place is the epicenter. <laughs> Look, these are mini epicenters. You understand what I'm trying to say. So forget the, the label. Either you, 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 the one person in your fifth, one person in your family, and then your family is a part of a 300,000 uh, 300, community, and it's only your family. Well, that family is the epicenter. You understand? Okay, forget this stuff. What's interesting, this, this thing that's also brought out, is I remember when I was a kid, Remember they were went I was a kid in the fifties and early sixties, right? Well, fifties, right? We used to actually have, you know, aside from the, we, I, we, I was just at the end of those air raid drills, you know, where you, the, with the, the, you know, you're supposed to get under your desk for a nuclear attack or something like that. I'm a kid. I'm gonna do what they say. That's what they, that's what the dependent kids do. What you say, right? Well, we all, we all used to have fire drills too. PS thirty one. William Lloyd Garrison School up there on the Concourse no longer exists because they put up. But the point is, we used to have fire drills. I've, I've seen the real, we even had fire drills in junior high school, junior high school 149. You know, clock, uh, clock uh, junior high school 149. I think we, anyway, I remember fire drills, but I, I, but I don't remember how fire drills in high school. So we don't, we, we, goes back to prepare yourself. We don't, we no longer have fire drills in any place. Like, I think they used to have fire drills in even the big businesses or whatever have you. So anyway, so we're not prepared for anything ever. So prepare yourself on the, on the, on the whatever 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 level. So that's it. I don't want to take too much of your time. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> we ain't got nothing but time. Some of us have left time because we're not prepared. But let me try to end this in a in a a light note. Well, it's not my light note. In fact, sound like well, my friend Nelson Davis down in Atlanta. Yeah, we're we're six feet, we're ten feet, we're how many feet apart? Because he's in Atlanta, I'm here. With, you know, we're over the the thing every once in a while. I give him a call when I'm walking. In fact, like I might take a walk. I, I I get on the phone with him, and he walks me through wherever I'm walking through, right? So avoiding people. Uh, so I am going to go outside. Gotcha. But he sent me this list: uh, clever pickup lines during the quarantine. Okay, I think it's comfortable. I won't say that. Okay, here's. I'm just going to go through them. Look, some of them are pretty corny, but I sort of like them. Yeah. If I told you that you had a nice body, would you hold it six feet away from me? Okay. You can't spell quarantine without you are a QT. Get it? That's so funny. Um, uh, that's why my, my nephew's his, 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 his nickname is QT. But it's QT. Is QT, but he's going to be a he's going to if he grows to be a cutie he's going to have to, um, we'll figure that out later. I saw you from across the bar. Stay there. Pretty funny. Hey baby, you come within six feet of here often? That mask brings out the beauty in your eyes. <laughs> that mask brings out the beauty in your eyes. Very good. Want to be wiped down? Oh, please. Want to make plans that we have to cancel? <laughs> okay. Are you a coronavirus? Because you take my breath away. We saw that one coming. Okay. You smell good. Is that Perel you wear? <laughs> <laughs> you smell good. Is that Perel you're wearing? <laughs> okay. Okay, wait a second. Would you like to go out? I'll do Tuesday. You do Wednesday. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. So, you would touch me with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. Baby, do you need toilet paper? Because I can be your Prince Charming. Okay, that's just like the bath water thing. You know, you're so fine, I drink your bath water kind of thing. Um, coming to the end, no way, but a few more. Just, come on now. Here you go. Find the humor and everything, right? 
Since all the public libraries are closed, I'm checking you out instead. Okay, that's my kind of joke, just a literary kind of joke, you know, since all the public libraries are closed, I'm checking you out instead like that. <sighs> oh, boy. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Are you a pandemic? Because you've got my heart on lockdown. Here we go. Last two. We'll hear it. Is that heart, is that hand sanitizer in your pocket? Or are you just happy <laughs> to be within six feet of me? <laughs> okay. That's a good May West, uh, you know, trip on May West line. Okay. Last one. I wash my hands when there's no pandemic too. That's a good one, I like that one. I wash my hand when there's no pandemic too. Okay, so that's for all you uh, people who are, you know, I don't know, what you, you say to your wife too, say to your husband, say to, you, you know, your lovers, blah, 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 blah. That's it, let me let me leave this here down. When this just put, put up, I don't know, because um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I got a lot of back stuff that I haven't put up. I've been waiting every other day, I don't know. I have to see what happens. Got to go check on my friend across town. We got strict, strict protocols. I go to the den, the den, wash your hands, da, 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 back out. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, be well. Prepare yourself. Continue your preparation. And stay away from hospitals. Unless you really got dry, dry throat, you know what I mean? Whatever. Don't go to a hospital. If you just want to be checked, just forget to check right now. It ain't, ain't you know, you're just going to expose. Look, you figure it out. Use your common sense. 